And uh, we played Brooklyn, so yeah. What did you, what did you learn from that whole ordeal with the stalker last year and just everything? Oh, um, just that? just gotta protect. Um, it's not it's not college anymore. I'm obviously we're in the higher stage, so you just gotta keep your personal business like uh, protected, like. Like even if it's like like how I got caught was I took a picture on my balcony facing somewhere and people knew exactly where I was living. So just things like that. Like, I don't take pictures off my balcony anymore. I took one last year and it, it was hell all on the road. And I took a picture and Logan talked to me and I was like shit. He's like why you take it down? And I was like because that's how the stalker like, got me last time. So just right. things like that. So did you? How did you know that you had the stalker? Was it just like was nah, it just hanging around your house? Uh, I kept seeing him every day and like like in his car. Or? Nah, he was just standing outside. He was like wearing glasses. Like had a backpack. He would stand outside. I don't think he gets a fan who wants like autograph, but he was there every single day, and I was like, that's kind of weird, you know exactly where I live. And did he ask you anything? Yeah, he always asked me to sign an autograph in like for a week. I, I, every day I did it just because I was like, this is my I first got, I just got here, so like, I wasn't like signing autographs like crazy like that. And then um, we played the Spurs, I believe, the first time, and my girlfriend was walking our dogs outside. And he came behind and was like, yo, is Jordan oh, here? Oh. And she was like freaked out. And I was like, yeah, oh. like grabbed him. Like, it's dark. She's by herself. She's like, this this, is at night. At night, yeah. She's like 5'4. Yeah. She's not like a very big person. Is he a bigger guy? Yeah. I mean, he was bigger than her. So yeah. she was like frightened. And he, like, he, she said he looked like a creep. So she was very, like, after that, so I was like, I just have to move. And so I just started protecting my. Did you call uh, security? Did you call Yeah, Ralph we called the it? cops. I told Ralph. We put a uh, police report. Uh, I had to fight forever with the uh, people at the building for them to let me on my lease for the situation. So. Dangerous. Yeah. yeah. So they, you didn't have to, they didn't charge you for that. They, uh, it's still ongoing, honestly. Oh, really? <laughs> it's still ongoing, yeah. So, did you find a new place pretty quickly? Yeah, I found a, I mean, I moved out. Like, I didn't care about how much money I have to pay for leases because, like, protection of my girlfriend. Like, I'm not always here. So, right. I was, like, her protection is more, more valuable than she money. She probably didn't have to feel comfortable. Like, she didn't. Saying, she, didn't she stopped taking the dog out, and I was like, I'm not here. Like, somebody has to take the dog out. Right. And so it was, it was just tough, and I was like, we have to just move. So did you guys move, like, overnight, one night, basically? Nah, we stayed there for a little while. Like, my brother stays with me, too. So I just told him, like, no. Jelly, right? Jelly, yeah. I told yeah. him, like, start taking the dogs out until we move. And then once we move, everything is more comfortable. I can acquire a neighborhood now. It's cool. Well, was that, I mean, we always talk about welcome to the NBA moments, but was that kind of an ultimate welcome to the yeah, NBA moment? Yeah, that was a, I don't want to be in here anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was, that was, it was crazy. So I've never experienced anything like, you hear about stuff like that. Like, you, I just think it's stuff like on movies and shows. Like, I don't think it actually happens, especially to me. Like, I'm not KD or stuff. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, considering that you did go to Oregon, right? It was a pretty high-profile team. Like, you just didn't have anything like that around there? Nah, I mean, we nah, we didn't have nothing like oh, that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, college is totally different. Yeah, like, you go to class with everybody, so they see you every day. Yeah, totally On a lighter note, would yeah. you have some more serious? Well, I was just going to ask, uh, how's, your, how's your relationship with, with DeMarcus? Oh, man. Is he kind of everything you thought he, yeah. he would be? I mean... No, nah, he actually... He's real cool, and I... And it's, I, I think he kind of has that same kind of like, people paint a picture about him because he yells a lot. Like, he's, he's just like Draymond. Draymond even said it at our city. He was like, he's just like me. Like, he yells, but he's a, like, he's a real cool dude. Um, he's always giving me and DJ advice. Uh, <laughs> no, I feel like to continue, to continue Yeah, like, like, he's always giving me and DJ advice, uh, helping us out, like, my shot. Um, I tend to shoot short sometimes and flat. He's always reminding me to get it up. DJ, he's trying to get him just to go in there and just dark it every fucking time. Or every he fucking time. Yeah. He was in the gym shooting three pointers. Yeah, I mean, he, he, I was shoot, yeah, he was shooting with us today, too. We went all around the court today just shooting and yeah. doing a workout. Yeah, so it was cool. Are there things you're discovering about his reputation that people think they know that are unfair? Yeah, like the bad locker room guy, like he's cool as hell. Like, I haven't yeah. seen anything that would like give off, like, oh, he might have, a, he might piss somebody off by doing that, but like, yeah. Uh, we have Draymond, I can't hear <laughs> My lighter question was yeah. about you getting a husky dog. You have yeah, a second dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that come to be? How did you uh, that was my favorite. It was always my favorite breed of dog. Mm -hmm. um, so after we won the finals, uh, the very next day I went to go pick him up. Yeah. I, I knew I was getting him before we won though, but uh, my friend from Oregon, some of the volleyball players, yeah. I guess one of their friends had like a litter of dogs and like they were trying to get rid of them and I was like, yo, yeah. I need yes. one. And she was like, yeah, $400, so it was a cheap little, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Prince and Cobra? Oh, Prince and Cobra, yeah. How do they get along? Uh, they're cool, like they they like they don't, they fight a lot, but it's yeah. like playful play fight. fight yeah. But it's Cobra because he's so young, he has so much energy. Mm -hmm. He like pulls on his ear, like he'll put a toy in his face and like keep doing this. And so Prince like eventually wants a toy like a little dog does. So yeah. like, that's fine. That's great. Uh, so how do you, you talked a little bit about uh, Where you get this from? What's up from Like that. 
Um, <laughs> you talked about earlier you were uh, you were Rudy just having a chemistry when you guys yeah, played yeah, yeah. or whatever. How did, how was he kind of grown this season in your eyes? Uh, I mean, you also worked out. With him. Yeah, I would say I, I think I think that came from just working out together every single day. Uh, even just competing against each other in the summer every single day, you come a bond. Like I know how he likes to play. I'm pretty sure he knows how I like to play now. Um, so we, we try to use each other as much as possible. Uh, we're kind of in the same boat, trying to like make that leap into like being a really. But how do you think he's grown? How oh, how he's grown. I'm sorry, yeah. Um, honestly, Loon's always been a killer to me. Like even in college when we played at UCLA, he was the best player. Uh, here, his first years, unfortunately, he had like two hip surgeries, but. Um, I've always think Loon was very skilled. Even last year, he's very skilled. I think his thing is like kind of like me just showing it out into the world. Because um, the workouts, like he can go the whole time without missing. So I think with him, it's like a confidence thing, kind of like myself. How do you feel like you saw him? You pass up a jump shot to throw to him. Like, yeah, how are you yeah. getting with your jumper? Are you getting to his thing where you're just going to shoot it without going? How do you think you're going to? I mean, I'm always going to look for the open player first. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm open, then like the one I shot, I look for Quinn on the. Uh, Back cut, he wasn't open, so I did my dude kind of sag, so I shot it. Um, what was the question? How are you getting more confident? Oh, uh, just doing it in practice. I yeah. uh, need to get reps in practice, show everybody, uh, make sure the, the coach is comfortable with you uh, using that. I'm not out here shooting threes. I'm slowly hitting the mid-range shots. Uh, hopefully you keep seeing me consistently make those so I can spread it out a little bit more in mid-range and eventually hit corner thirds. Obviously, you know, with without you know uh, Javale on his roster anymore, David West, yeah. Zaza, you know, the, the center position is kind of wide open yeah. at this point. So, how have you kind of adjusted? You know, maybe like uh, I'm absorbing a bigger role this season. Like, yeah. is that is that something you are comfortable with, and is that something that Curtis yeah, talked I mean, to you about? Yeah, I mean, he hasn't personally talked. Well, that's actually yeah, he's he hasn't yeah. like went in depth. Like we haven't well, sat down and had a conversation, but he's walked. We're going more yo, we got more minutes available. And it's obvious gonna be more of minutes available. It's only yeah. three extenders here, me, DJ, and Loon. Um, but I, I don't think me and Loon and DJ really care about who starts. We know we're all gonna play. Um, I think we're actually all fighting about who's gonna finish the game more than who starts the game. That's the yeah. more important thing. So like yeah, I don't like when DJ Curry told me he was gonna start DJ on a Friday during uh, my last practice for the game and I was like I, I figured you was. Like, I was me and him laughing, like, I figured you was just because He's a true center. Uh, I'm very undersized, so I was like, Carl Towns, that makes the most sense. Um, but I mean, we'll see the way it goes. Like I said, it might be matchup one game. Uh, he might just stay with DJ. I'm perfectly fine with that. Just put me alone, wherever you, like whatever groups he thinks uh, fits us perfectly. I mean, you, you mentioned undersized thing, but I mean, obviously, you know, you know running smaller lines here is kind of a trend of the league. Yeah, yeah for sure. So. If, if I say it depends on the match. Like, if we play Carl, for sure, DJ, if we play Houston, like, I think. Uh, me and Lou would be a better fit. He's going to switch better and guard guards better. Um, somebody like AD Loon, I think he'd be a great fit for that because he's a versatile big who can move a lot. So I think things. it's different matchups. Um, I said, me and Loon and DJ, like, we talked about all the time, like, as a joke. Like, we don't, none of us really care who starts these while we want to play. You mentioned guarding those, those you know, smaller, mm -hmm. you know, you guard players. Uh, yeah. How comfortable are you, you know, I'm stepping good. out on, like, you know, yeah, six I mean, or three guard? Yeah, in my mind, I'm five eights. So I've always been. Like I've always wanted to guard like the point guard. Like, high school, I was asking my coach, like, can I guard the point guard today? Like, fuck no, like, I need you blocking shots. But, um, like, I'm, I've always been comfortable, like I said. Like, I've never felt like I was a big guy. All right. Good. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yep. Gonna, like, he was always. Huh? You gonna be dancing? We got an open practice? Yeah. We do. Sunday. 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 <laughs> Are you better, better than about? rehearse. I didn't know. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan needed dance. We got we to sing, though. They make us sing over here. Okay. That was rookie. We'll rookie though. I I'm guess still you, a rookie though. It's so my first game. Yeah. yeah. But hey, Loon didn't do here, so if Loon got it, if I got to do it, Loon got to do it. Loon, Loon didn't do it. He never did. Only four years. Two years? Four, three four years? years? How long has he been in league? Four years. Just been going on his fourth year. He ain't never did it. Dang. Yeah, so, bro. I'm, I'm going to sing a piece of letter by Frank Ocean. He had an opera. He's not going to talk about it.